Hi guys, this is Miss Burns' word work video. So hopefully you have already seen the word work video um, from the other lady. So she did two things. She worked on um, prefixes and suffixes and she wrote a silly sentence. So we're gonna do both of those today. So I have my base words here. I got use, I added like. Here's help, quick, kind, and slow. So these all have meanings. Slow means to not move very fast. Use means to, to like need something. Like, ooh, is like my favorite. Um, help means to um, give somebody <laughs> help. Quick is you move real fast. Kind is you're not mean. So these all have meanings, but un, well, well what does un mean on by itself? If I just put this word down and I try to write it in a sentence, that's not a good word. This has to be attached to a word. See how it's got the little nick right there? And um, Lee, this has to be attached to a word. It means nothing all by itself. So that's why it's got the little nick right there, okay? So what I am going to do that she was not able to do in her video, move some stuff out the way, is I'm going to do the same thing that she did, but I'm going to like, I, I have cards and I'm going to move them around so you can really see how these words go together. So I'm going to start with slow, use, and like. So I've got less, or lee, est, full, er, and less. So let's try and put this on a couple words. Slow, less. Well, that doesn't make much sense. Useless. Oh, oh, useless means that it's not able to be used. It doesn't have any use. This is a word. Let's write it down. Use less. Okay. Let's try again. Likeless. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we got a word. Let's try est. Slow est. Oh, um, that means the person who is the most slow. Or the animal. Think about t turtle. Definitely the slowest. Slow est. Okay. Use est. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Like est. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Let's try ly. Slowly. Oh, that's how I might move. Like, uh, I might move slowly and it means that I am moving pretty slow. Slowly. Usely. Well, that doesn't make much sense. Likely. Oh, uh, likely means that it is probably going to happen. Do you see how I'm able to take these suffixes and put them onto words and tell, um, and put them onto words and make new words. Let's try that with a couple of these um, um, prefixes. So prefixes go on the front, just like a pretest goes before you. Oh, great. They're, um, give me just a moment. Okay, I'm back. I think I'm good for a little while. All right, so re. Re means to do something over again. So re slow, well, that doesn't make sense. Reuse, oh, I could use something over again. Like this card, if I'm done with use, I could flip it over and write something here. That would be reusing the card. Let's write that over here. Reuse. Re-like. Well, I'm not really gonna like something again. That doesn't make much sense. All right, dis means not, or the opposite. Dis slow, eh disuse, eh, dislike. Oh, I know dislike means to not like something. So do you see how I can use these prefixes to put them at the beginning of words to make the word mean something else? You can even put something at the beginning and the end of a word. So let's take this use, un, use, full. So unuseful 
Useful means that it is able to be used. It's full of use. Unuseful means it's not useful at all. Unuseful. See how I've got something at the beginning and the end? Let's see if I can figure out another one. Ooh. Unkindly. So kind is nice. Kindly would be how you uh, would be doing something kindly. So maybe I am saying words to you kindly. I, how I am saying those words to you. Unkindly means I am saying words to you in a not nice way. So let's write this down. Unkindly. So prefixes and suffixes are really awesome. You can stick them on the beginning of words and the ends of words to change the meaning, to make them how you need them to be in the sentence. Look at all these different ways that we found. So that is it for my prefixes and suffixes. Let me scoot these out of the way. We'll probably come back to these because the prefixes and suffixes are pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to flip my paper. <gasps> Gasp. So, day 13, silly sentence. So, she gave us all of these words, and she made a silly sentence. I want to make a silly sentence, too, and I expect you to make a silly sentence also. So, but in order to help you, I'm going to go ahead, maybe give you, um, like, some kind of sentence pieces, and then you fill in what you think should go there. So, Remember, we've got apple, bubble, puzzle, peach, lunch, beach, watch, catch, patch, dark, look, arc, quick, brick, click, bridge, fridge, badge, age, page, huge. So, let me do two colors. So, I'm going to say... Once upon a blank, there was a blank, blank. So we've got once upon a blank, there was a blank, blank. And I'll make this zoom in a little bit uh, in a bit. Let me finish writing my thing. So once upon a blank, there was a blank, blank. It was so blank that it had trouble. Oh, look, a BLE word or a consonant LE word that it had trouble blank blanking. So you could do like bubbling or puzzling or bridging. It's not really a word, but you could make it. It's a silly sentence. Do what you want. So once upon a blank, there was a blank blank. It was so blank that it had trouble blank blanking. It's friends said you are too blank. Please try to blank. So its friend said, you are too blank. Please try to blank. Then it blank. And everyone was happy. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces. That's pretty good. All right, so let's take a quick look at it. There we go, zooming in. So we have 
once upon a blank, there was a blank blank. It was so blank that it had trouble blank blanking. Its friend said, you are too blank. Please try to blank. Then it blank and everyone was happy. There's my kitty on the table. She's not supposed to be on the table. All right, so here's, I'm gonna put in an example. Kitty, kitty, you're ruining my yardstick. Look, kitty ruining my yardstick. I'll put my tape. There. Naughty kitty. Better fold this up and keep it someplace safe. Okay, so I'm going to, so once upon a patch, there was a huge peach. It was so quick that it had trouble beach looking. Its friend said, you are too <laughs> you are too fridge. Please try to bubble. Then it clicked and everyone was happy. So here's mine. Very silly. Doesn't make any sense. Once upon a patch, there was a huge peach. It was so quick that it had trouble beach looking. Its friend said, you are too fridge. Please try to bubble. Then it clicked and everyone was happy. <laughs> All right, that's word work for today. <laughs> Bye, guys.